Hey guys, welcome back to our repair guys. In today's video guys, we will cover something very important if you live in a place that you have to uh, pass emissions. Okay, that's very, uh, a very uh, stressful thing and if you don't have your car ready, you're just going to waste your, your uh, money because every time you take it to the emission test, if you don't pass, you have to pay again, right? So, let me show you guys on a BMW how to know if your BMW is ready for emissions. Okay, and you can do that with relatively inexpensive computer that it can pay for itself in one use only. Oh you guys, this is the computer that we use, Foxwell. It's in the description of the video. Check out the video description for more details for all the products that we use. So you need to find your OBD sensor, OBD port. Okay, ours is right here. You just open this cap, guys. Okay, like that. And next thing, all you have to do, connect it, right? Super, super simple so far. Next step, guys, you have to turn, okay, the ignition on. You have to have... Uh, the, the ignition on without starting the car. It's very important. Okay, not to start your car. Okay, let me turn it on quick. Okay, the steering wheel is locked. Okay, like that. You can see we have the lights on without starting the car now. Okay, next. Let's get, okay, now to the real, real deal here now. Okay, this computer now right here as you can see we're going to go to OBD and we just click enter Super simple so far. You're going to wait a little bit because it's establishing communication with uh, With the computer so it's going to take a little bit of time. It needs to read everything That it can and this little tool pretty powerful make sure you stay until the end I'm going to share a few more tips Okay, because it's important to know everything so you don't waste your money guys trying to save as much money as you can Okay, first thing you have three lights here red yellow green yellow means that uh, the car is not ready If it's red, it's bad if it's red uh, what means is that you have a engine light on Okay, we don't have engine light on and you will not be able Okay to pass emissions. Okay now we're going to select Okay, check it out now one of them says engine Okay, we're selecting engine, engine computer now. Okay, right here, let me get a little bit of light because you're able to see a little bit better that way. Okay, and now guys, we're going to scroll down until we get to I am readiness. Click enter, okay. And now it's going to take a little bit of time and check this thing out. M-I-L, this is the engine light, the first one. This one, it says off, so that's great news. Okay, right here, MIS is okay. Uh, I think it's misfire. Fuel, okay, CCM, okay, okay. CAT, CAT, incomplete. INC means incomplete, which means that this computer is not ready. It doesn't know if the calorie converter is working or not. Okay, EVAP, it's incomplete as well. Next, we're going to go to the next page. Okay, air. That's a mass airflow sensor, I believe, incomplete. Oxygen sensor, incomplete. And uh, HTR, this is heater. This is the heater for the oxygen sensor. It's incomplete as well. And let me tell you why. All that is because we put a new battery on the car. We put a new battery and after we put a new battery, we had the engine light on. So, you know, that uh, the battery is in the trunk. So what we did, guys, we reset the engine light and you can see the car is not ready. So we don't want to waste our money. But something else, okay, right here that you can check with this computer. Okay, you can go back, okay, and what we are going to do, okay, you can go to live data. And you can start your vehicle at that point if you want to, to see if everything works. You can check, uh, check quite a few things, but... What I'm going to do is uh, something, something that uh, usually powerful computers will be able to tell you, but with this little thing, you can do it. Okay, we're going to click view data, complete data set. Okay, and now we're going to screw to the next, uh, okay, to the next screen right here. Let me see, let me find it quick. Okay, it's still... Okay, DTC, you can see right here, that's engine light. It means, zero means that you don't have any codes. Uh, 
And on this specific model, okay, usually you can find information that tells you how many miles or kilometers you drove since you reset the engine line. On this specific model it doesn't show us, but let me plug it into the other car and show you quick what I'm talking about. But you can still check the readiness, okay, readiness, and if you have green light you're ready to go to emissions, guys. It doesn't, uh, uh, it doesn't mean 100% that you'll pass, but most likely you'll pass with no problems. Okay, and this method guys will work on any car, not just BMW, but we uh, demonstrate on a few here now. Okay, and you can see that Toyota Sienna, we passed emissions with it last week. Okay, you can see we have green light. I want to demonstrate that, okay, for you. And now I'm going to go to live data on it. Okay, and when we select, uh, okay, let me just scroll down to live data. Uh, you see, you can see how many miles you drove until you reset the engine light. You can check how many warm-ups the car had before, I mean after you reset the light so you know that it's ready to pass emissions. Okay, and I'm going to run one more test on it. Okay, stay with us. Okay, still communicating. It has quite a few things to read. Okay, view data. We're going to see the complete data set. Okay, right here now. Okay, right here, clear distance. This means that since you reset your engine light, how many miles did we went? We went almost 9,000 miles, warm up, the car warmed up, warmed up 175 times. Okay, and I'm going to demonstrate, guys, when it's ready for emissions, what it's going to say, green light, and we're going to go to IM readiness, click enter, okay, we're going to connect now, okay, since DTC clear, okay, and check this thing out, MIL, that's the engine light meal of and everything says okay, okay, okay. If it's NA, it says it's not available. Uh, the vehicle, it's not equipped with that option, so that's not a problem. And on the other page, again, everything is great. So, that's it, guys. Just to know if you're ready for emissions. Thank you for uh, watching, guys. Hopefully, the video was helpful, and see you guys next time.